Uh, hi, I'm Sam Alto. I can't believe that I'm finally gonna be a bar mitzvah because I've lived through my sisters and my brothers and they've been talking about mine since I was born and since theirs. And it's just weird to think how when I was that little, I could have been this big. I'm Mary Ann, and I am Sam, the Bar Mitzvah Boy's mom. And I am Eric, Sam's dad. I first found out about Sam when Mary Ann said to me, she's pregnant. <laughs> and I was like, really? And she was like, really? Sam and was on purpose. Let's not I'm let's teasing. get it straight with the crowd. I am teasing. Sam, you are not an accident. I can promise you that. I know people ask, was he an accident? Because he kind of came a lot later than Eli and Sydney. You were not an accident. We were so, so happy <laughs> when we knew we were waiting for your arrival. It was so, so exciting. Yeah. It was awesome. Hi, I'm Larry Alchel, and I am Sam's Papa, and I'm known as Papa Larry. And I'm Karen Alchel, and I'm known as Nana. And this reminds me of my first recollection of Sam. 13 years ago, Mary Ann and Eric and little Eli and teenage um, Sydney were at our house for Shabbat dinner. And as we're lighting the candles, Mary Ann and Eric said, we have an announcement to make. We couldn't imagine what it was. Never did we dream it was gonna be what we heard. A new puppy. And <laughs> a new puppy may be in the house. And they said that there is going to be a new baby. And we all, we all went around Mary Ann and we all gave Sam his very first hug. Well, now that you've asked, <laughs> I happen to be Sammy's grandfather. And who are you? And I'm his mamama, as he calls me, or Mama Junior. Mary Ann came to Judy and I and suggested that she was going to have another child. <laughs> I said, Mary Ann, are you out of your effing mind? I, you, your kids are now, what, one was seven years old, I think. You gotta go back again and, and start all over again. Diapers, ghouling, babysitters, etc. Think about it, Mary Ann. And I'll tell you one thing, she was right. Sam became a very important per, uh, person in our lives. So I was wrong to have even suggested that she not have Sam. Sam turned out to be a bonus. I was asked to be part, or if I wanted to be part, of watching Sammy be born. Well, nothing, but nothing ever matched that experience that I had being present for Sammy's birth. And Marianne's doctor was a friend of hers. He had me standing there and he said, do you want to help me pull him out? Well, I will never, ever forget that experience. Hi, I'm Eli. I go to Tulane University in New Orleans, Louisiana. And I'm Sam's big brother. And I remember when Sam was born, I went to the hospital and I was the first one who got to hold him as soon as my mom started passing him around. And that was such an honor because they handed him to me over my sister. Uh, hi. I am Sam's sister, Sydney. I'm 21 years old and I'm currently living in Montreal and I'm studying psychology. The day Sam was born was one of the greatest days of my life. We walked in to the hospital room and much to my dismay, my parents handed Eli Sam first, I think because I was just too excited. I, they didn't want to give me him yet. Uh, and then after Eli held him, I got to hold him and I remember just looking at this little baby being like, mine, like he's mine. And ever since then, he's been my little baby. He does not like that I call him a baby, but he will always be my baby. So I remember when we brought Sam home from the hospital, after we finished our Chipotle, because back then there was only one Chipotle in town, it was near the hospital, so we had to have Chipotle before we left. My first recollection of Sam was the night he was born, everybody was thrilled and excited and hungry. <laughs> and his father took me in the car and I got my first and last Chipotle 13 years ago. <laughs> it was delicious. <laughs> we had Chipotle and then we brought Sam home. 
And I remember we laid out a towel <laughs> in our backyard uh, and had Sydney and Eli and Karma, our dog at the time, all cradling Sam. Mm. And we took a family picture of all the kids, and that was our first family picture. It's still one of my favorite pictures of all time. Yeah, mine as well. It was hard to believe that we brought home a new baby because we were a family of four. We had the girl and the boy, and then all of a sudden, this baby came home. And all of a sudden, there was like another child in the picture. So that family picture meant a lot to me as well. Since the day Sam was born, Eli and I have been planning for this bar mitzvah. Through every picture, video we have, we've always been like, that's gonna go in the montage, that's gonna go in the montage. And now that it's 13 years later and it's actually happening and all these pictures and videos are going into the montage, I just can't believe it. He's not my baby anymore. So how old are you, Sam? But then I'm going to be four and then five. And on May 22nd, I'm going to turn four. Oh, okay, very good. Uh, and I'm getting a new baby. Are you excited to have a new baby? Yeah, I'm excited to have a new baby. Yeah, I'm excited to have a new baby. It was a bike that had, that had like fire things on it. It had a really nice bell. It had training wheels. Sam and I always had a very special connection and I would play with him all the time and I guess he thought that he was my age. He plays with me when I have Brian board and we play everything, but he doesn't like to play chess. So when my friends would come over and we would hang out and play Xbox or play outside, he always thought that he was just one of me and my buddies and he'd try and chill with us. And so we'd play basketball and we'd give him a shot once in a while, but then I'd have to call my dad to take him in. And Sam, who do you want to work for? Eli. When you get older? And what do you want to work with Eli doing? In a chocolate store. In what, Eve? Chocolate store. Chocolate store. Will that be fun? Uh, no. Why won't that be fun? It's chocolate. Because I get to eat it and it's so yummy because I like it. And what's Sydney's job going to be? She's going to be homeless. Oh, yeah. Sam played Chip in Beauty and the Beast and it was undoubtedly the cutest thing I have ever seen. Yeah, um, I was in Beauty and the Beast. I played Chip, the, the little teacup, and the director told me to just sit in a cart, put my face in the cup, and look cute. His first scene was him going on stage in a little cart because he was a little chip, the teacup bet. And his first scene, he popped his head up of a cart and turns around and the audience saw that it was Sam and the audience just started cheering and it was the cutest thing ever. I sat in the cart, put my face in the cup and looked cute. <laughs> but my memories are not so much specific trips, but just the time he and I spent together on the golf course a lot. I got him some clubs and we would go out to the range and practice. We even went on the course, and he liked it a lot, and he was very good. good. I have two best friends named Josh and Matthew. I've been friends with them since like third grade. Me and Matthew play a lot of Xbox together, and me and Josh, he, he likes to swim and he sometimes likes to play tennis with me. Sydney, she always loves to give me kisses and call me schnookums. She knows that I hate it, but I don't actually think that she cares. Sydney, if you're listening, I am now a man in the Jewish religion, but you'll probably still never call me a man. <laughs> I will always be your little baby. My dad, he's a very nice guy. Um, he's been my father for almost 13 years. We love talking about planes. That's like my dad's forte. If he could look at the sky and he could just be like, oh, 747 Boeing Emirates. It, like he could just spot that and it's like, it'll be like two miles up. It's crazy. My mom is awesome. She always keeps her hopes up on someone even when they don't even believe in themselves. My mom loves yoga and like meditation and sometimes to make her happy, I'll just go out and do yoga with her. So I did something for Sam that I didn't do for either of my older kids. 
and that is Sam was a very good baseball player and he played competitive hardball and they needed an assistant coach. <laughs> and Sam was like, come on, Dad, you could be the assistant coach. Now, I took him to a lot of the games and practices, but I was always in the bleachers and I agreed to be an assistant coach. And I didn't know the rules. I didn't know how to coach anybody, but I did it because Sam wanted me there. So cute. And the great thing about it is I knew more than 10-year-olds, so I did <laughs> fine. And Sam loved it. And I, more importantly, I loved being with Sam for every single practice and every single game. So Sam is a kid that gets really excited. Whatever he is doing, he is extremely excited about extremely motivated it is like his passion and his desire to get good at whatever it is that he's doing so right now it is tennis you know tennis is the love of his life right now he is so motivated i can't even get over it he will play six hours of tennis it's incredible he's like self-motivated kid and um and he's getting really great at it and i'm proud of him and he's gotten so good at tennis. I went with Eli the, the other day and we watched him. Just his serves, they're so powerful. And I think he could even beat Eli now. I started playing tennis about a year ago. I train at Rick Macy Tennis Academy. Rick Macy is actually a top coach. And there's this one time where I was having a lesson and Rick Macy comes onto my court and he's just coaching me. And that was a really cool experience for me because he's like, internationally known as a great tennis coach and so it was just super cool to have him just come and give me tips so Sam's seven years younger than Eli but Sam is committed to tennis and Eli hasn't committed to tennis since he was at Camp Micah learning from Olga although I don't think that was about tennis but that's the last <laughs> time that Eli really played so now when they go out and compete Sam's definitely got the skills but Eli's 19, so he's got the power, he's got the height. But if my money was on it, I'd bet on Sam. And with all due respect, Eli's a great athlete too. So this would be a tough one. But I have to tell you, Sam, if you keep at it, I'd say in six months, you're going to take him easy. If Eli and I played a tennis match, I would whoop him. Sam, Mazel tov. I'm so proud of you. I know you've been working so hard and it's all coming together. And I love you so much, and I'm so happy for you. Samuel, I love you so much. You're the best brother in the whole wide world. You're the most confident, wittiest, smartest little guy. And I just love your spunky, special soul. And I'm so glad to be your sister. I'm so grateful to be your sister. I love you. Sammy, we're very proud of you today, but we've always been very proud of you every day. You're a really special, special grandson oh, and we love you very very much mazel tov big kisses sammy mazel tov we i oh one other thing i failed to mention and i should when you video, video videoed me uh several years ago at eli's bar mitzvah i looked into this camera and i said i'm going to be here for sammy's bar mitzvah and I'm here now, and I just want him to know that. I made that promise. So I think, Sam, I look forward to a wonderful, fruitful, enriching life for you if you just continue on this great path that you've already established for yourself. And I would also suggest one other thing that will be an enriching life for you. You and I giggle a lot, and we tell jokes a lot, and we laugh at each other a lot. And I think that every day of your life, if you can find something to laugh about or smile about, it'll make for a better life. And that's my best wish for you. We love you. I think Larry spoke for both of us, just how proud we are of Sam, how much we love him, how we know he's gonna be a magnificent person. He's, he's filled with love and generosity. And one more thing to add to Larry's story, when Sam spoke from the Bema so comfortably, our rabbi told us afterwards that he thought Sam could have the makings of a rabbi. So Sam, may you go on that path and be a righteous man always. Sam, I am so proud of you. I am so happier in my life every single day. You make me proud. I love being with you. I love who you are and who you're becoming. Mazel tov on your bar mitzvah. I love you so much. 
Sam, muzzle tub on your bar mitzvah. I love your confidence. I love your joie de vie. I love your ability to just jump into anything and be confident in doing it. Doesn't matter if you know one person there or a million people there. I just think you are amazing. You are a light. I feel good when I'm with you. Everyone does. And just seize, seize this beautiful life of yours and make the best of it. Love you so much. Muzzle tub. Thank you so much, Mom and Dad, for doing all of this and everything that you've done for me. I really appreciate it, and I love you guys so much.